In last week's Torah portion of Nassau, we read about the inauguration of the Mishkan by the Nesi'im, the princes of the tribes, each of whom offered sacrifices. But Aaron, the high priest, stood by silently, watching in dismay. So in this week's parasha, Baha'u'llah, Rashi explains that Aaron felt bad and distressed that he was not one of the participants. So Hashem informed Aaron that he has nothing to worry about. Bechayecha, by your life, yours is greater than theirs. You will kindle the menorah every day, which is greater than their one-time sacrifice. But this, however, begs the question, why didn't Aaron cheer on his colleagues? Why was he standing in dismay? Why well, he wasn't happy for them? It seems like a poor sportsmanship. Rather, rabbis explain that indeed Aaron was happy for the priests of all the tribes and their sacrifices, and he abhorred no ill feelings or jealousy towards them. But at the same time, he was bothered. He was bothered because he saw their significant commitment and wondered how great is his own commitment. So he felt bad, not because they got chosen. He felt bad because their activity reminded him of his own personal standing. And he wondered if he was up to par. In other words, applauding someone else is easy. This is what spectators do. But Aaron would not suffice with being a spectator. He saw their involvement as a call to action for himself. And that's why Hashem responded that Aaron's dedication and call to action was right where it needs to be, lighting the menorah every single day. This, by the way, explains the strange, strange wording that Rashi quotes. Chayecha, by your life, yours is greater than theirs. The Rebbe explains that when God says, by your life, he is providing the recipe for success as a true participant and contributor in God's world. Your life tells us that we must be prepared to invest our life and much effort in what we do. When we turn this into a life endeavor, that's when we'll see success. So let's remember, we all have moments when we find ourselves cheering others on. Our in this week's parish reminds us that being cheerers and spectators is not enough. We must also be active participants. Shabbat Shalom.